All right, so I'm going to continue with this uh, model. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go select this uh, front shell. All right. And I'm going to right click, go to edge mode. I'm going to grab that. And, and I'm going to grab this and this. So that's going to be, I'm going to press 4 to show exactly this, this, and this, just those. And I'm just going to go press delete. I'm not going to do this. I'm not doing that, right? I'm not doing that. Because that's going to wipe out the vertices as well. I want the vertices to stay. Because if I delete, if I go that route, it's going to take out the vertices. And it's going to make the shape, you know, take away from the shape. All I'm going to do is just press delete. The delete key. Right? Because uh, the points will still stick around. If I just press the delete key. Anyway. I'm going to right click, right, and go to face, okay, and before I do that though, let me grab this, uh, okay, I'm going to show my display, I'm just going to hide it for now, my, the, the screen, right, the color in yellow, so I grab that. I'm going to do Alt-5, alright, so grab this, right click, go to face mode, select that face, I'm going to do Shift, right click, extrude face, again, Shift, and right click, extrude face, so I got this, got my trusty little floating menu, I'm going to work with the offset, I'm going to push it in like, I don't know, something like this, like this close. Maybe, maybe a little bit closer. The closer you get, um, the smoother it's gonna be, the tighter the seams. Uh, 0 0.02 or maybe 0 0.03. Yeah, 0 0.03. I'll use that. So I chose point zero three for the offset, right? I'm gonna right click and hold and choose object mode to get out of it. Get my front, right? Select it, right click, go to face mode. I'll grab that face. I'm gonna delete it. Once I delete it, I'm gonna right click, go to vertex mode, meaning right click as in holding the right click. I'm going to select that, press W. With that vertex, I'm going to hold the key as in V, as in Victor. That turns on snapping. You notice this guy light up. See, that lights up. So I'm going to snap the vertices uh, in the middle. So with that on, I'm going to grab the arrow handle and I'll snap. Grab this one, hold V as in Victor. Turns into a circle, grab the arrow, snap. All right, good. Next, right click face mode, grab that face, I'm gonna delete it. Right click vertex mode, turn a bit just to make sure, grab that handle, press four just to make sure I did not grab anything underneath it. I can press Q to hide the gizmo. I just pressed F to frame it because the camera can act kind of wonky. I press W to turn on my move tool. Now I'm going to press V as in Victor. I'm going to hold V as in Victor. Grab the arrow tip, push it, snap it. Next, grab that one. Hold V as in Victor. Grab my arrow tip, snap. Five. So as you can see, like the demo I did at school, I laid the groundwork to uh, have 
uh, build up a clean topology. Okay. Uh, one second. All right, so that part was done. So I'll uh, explain further what I'm doing. All right, but for now I need to uh, continue what I just did in order to explain it. Basically, I have to show what it is. Otherwise, I'm just I'm just spewing words, right? So I selected a face again. This face I selected again. Okay. I just carefully select it. Be careful because you could accidentally move things too, right? So I selected that shift, right click, extrude face yet again. I have this pop up, right? I'm going to zoom in. My intention is to, you see this, I need to extrude it out again. In doing so, this will extrude in, the inlay, or also the footprint. So under offset, I'm going to zoom in a tad so I can see here and here. And the next round, right, this, this train track, the next train track loop is going to be a little bit more wider. And there's a reason why. So under offset, hold on control. I'm going to left click on it and drag it towards, towards my right a bit. Maybe like this much. So as you can see, before it was this tight, now it's this tight. So gradually it's going to get open more and more open. So what that means is that the tension that gets caused when I press three, which is the smooth preview, where it uh, smooshes it, right? Um, there's a couple of other things going on there, like the textures get nicer and tighter. I have to show it in order to explain it. Anyway, I did that. I set the offset to 0 0.06. <coughs> I don't know, maybe 0 0.05? Yeah, 0 0.05. So as you can see, it's tight, got a little bit more looser, 0 0.05. Then I'm gonna click outside, all right? And I'm in the top, front, top, left, all right? I'm gonna come in here. I can also just press spacebar, spacebar, in my top view, top Y. I can zoom in. This way it's safer too, in the orthographic view. Press 4 for wireframe. I'm going to select this space. I'm going to press delete for the backspace. I'm going to right click, hold, I'm going to choose vertex. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to press W for the move tool. I'm going to activate my snapping, which is V as in Victor, turns into a circle grab the tip end of my move arrow because that will allow for precision snapping going only across. I'm going to click on him now, press V as in Victor, hold it, grab my move arrow, snap it. Come on down here, zoom in, right click, go to face mode, select that, delete it, right click, Vertex mode, select that. Press and hold V as in Victor for snapping. As you can see, it's lit up. I'm gonna grab my arrow and snap it. Let go of the V as in Victor. Grab this, vertex, hold V as in Victor. Grab my move arrow, snap it. So we did that. Space bar, space bar. Right click, object mode. So this is getting very clean. Everything will come together very nicely, actually. This is gonna look really dope. And I have to do one more and that's it. Face, grab that, and then you'll see why. And again, same deal, shift, right click, extrude. And I'm gonna zoom in, so you can see. And I'm gonna do my offset, hold down control, drag towards my right. This one's going to be a little bit more open now, see, tight, less tight, more broader, tight, less 
lesser. Boom, boom, boom. Which also includes here, tight. A little bit less tight, much less tight. But if you think of it as train tracks. And I'm happy with that. I'm gonna click outside. I'm gonna come over here, spacebar, spacebar, top down. That way it's safe to select things. I'm gonna select that face. I'm gonna delete it. Right click on it, choose vertex. Grab that vertex, press W for the move tool. Hold V as in Victor. Grab this arrow tip, snap it. Grab that arrow tip. I'm gonna grab that vertex, press V as in Victor. Grab the arrow tip, snap to center, right click, face mode, grab that face, delete that face, right click on it, set vertex, grab that vertex, press V as in Victor, hold V as in Victor, move and snap, let go, click on that vertex, hold V as in Victor, move and snap. All right, so we're good for that. And the next part is, it's more monotonous, right? But uh, I'm gonna press five, okay? And, ooh, I should delete history right now. This here, I'm gonna go select in object mode. The only way to delete history is to be in object mode, which is green. I'm gonna go under my poly modeling shelf and choose my uh, trusty delete history icon. It blows out everything. I need to save this. Control Alt S. Now I have an incremental save of 0.0006. I need to grab that. See this long face, and this long face, and this long face, right? Whereas this, 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 Right. I have this, but I also have just this. These need to link up. So select it, shift right click, multi cut tool. I'm gonna just eyeball it like, like that. Okay, that's all I did. The way I did it was um, when I pan, right, just to Describe, I'm panning by holding Alt in the middle mouse. Okay, that's how you pan. Now from here, to make this cut, all I do is hold on Shift, right, hold on Shift, which will make a straight line. I'm gonna just eyeball where I think it's gonna connect like this. Hold on Shift, then I'm gonna click over here, left click on it. While holding Shift, I'm gonna snap it, I'm gonna drag it, let go. Same thing over here. Hold on, shift, left click, hold, drag it down. Over here now. Left, I'm gonna now this time I'm gonna left click and I'm just gonna not hold shift because it's not gonna be straight. I'm just gonna do something like this and eyeball it. And let go. See? Over here, I'm gonna just left click out here and just kind of drag it a bit like that like that just this much so I can see the trajectory right I don't I don't intend on connecting it like that something like this let go now over here I'm gonna left click here hold the left click drag it it'll be something like that and let go that's all I want is this so all of that up to here, right, was done. And uh, so I'll try to explain what, what, where and what I'm getting at. These lines, they need to connect eventually. And they, it doesn't have to be every single one of them, but it has to be close enough where you can link, 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 and link. Because when they connect and link, it will, uh, look nice when you press three as in smooth preview the, the number three basically when I say it smooshes so 
for example, and not only that, but these areas, right, that I had to cut into where I've demonstrated in class on Monday, when I cut into it, these are gonna shoot out, meaning that, um, yeah, they're gonna shoot out and they have to reconnect over here. So, uh, we'll go in here and these parts, see over here, they need to have at least a couple more and over here needs to have a couple more in order to eventually they're gonna link up with this hole, right? They're gonna, it's gonna link up with the hole. It's gonna stitch together with the hole, basically is what I'm saying. So over here, I'm gonna right click, object mode. All right, so I just noticed that my 15 minute is up. I don't wanna go more than that because I'll end up going over and over and over. So I'm just gonna stop it here, right? It may not look like much, but a lot has been done. So I'm just gonna delete history. And then Control Alt S to save it incrementally. I'm gonna leave it like that and come back into the next video. Yeah. Okay. Bye.